I mean, you got an important package there, man. That's all the sharing. Powder show the zero. Oh no. I know, I know. I know what that is. I know too. That means I gotta do that today. I know. I know, I know. It's bad. But in hindsight, no, there's nothing good coming from it, I think. Yeah, I don't think anything good's gonna happen from that. Y'all just be prepared. I might know what I'm doing with that. Oh Lord. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> don't get carried away now. Alright, we're gonna start. Jason's gonna be flat on his back. I'm gonna have an underhook and he's gonna have the lot down. All right, so go to your stall. If I started changing my passing, he could now use that to turn into leg locks or to even come up and stand up. So he's got a lot of good options once he gets that butterfly hook in. He becomes way more mobile, right? Which I'll become more off balance. It's a great position to play. But what I want you guys to do is Practice getting there. So you're gonna practice that stomp, flipping the hook in. Practice getting there. And then feeling what your options are from the bottom. Top guy, stay heavy is your primary objective. Stay on top and stay heavy. Don't get swept, right? If you pass, great. If you don't, no problem. But stay on top and make the bottom guy work, right? That's the whole objective as the passer for me and my style, the way I would pass. My job is to make you work. You want to move? Fine, move. Move more, move faster, move harder. I'm not going nowhere. And in just a second, you're going to wear out and I'm going to slide through your guard without working. Got it? Ready, one, two, three. I'm thinking that I want you to build your top half passing, right? It's not, I'm going to come in here, I'm going to hit him with this pass. I'm going to come in here and I'm, he does this guard, I'm going to do this pass. If you think that way, you'll always be very limited. Like you'll only be able to go, if this, then this, if this, then this, and you won't be able to solve problems as they present themselves. I need you to understand the overall framework and make that how you build your passes. <coughs> That's how your body will choose the passes. The circumstances will choose the passes. Does that make sense? So now, okay, Brandon, stay on top, stay on top, make this guy carry your weight. Stay on top, and no matter what happens, you're gonna stay on top, and let's see what pass he gives us then. Does that make sense? All right, go. And we don't even need to like run a play. You are trying pretty hard right there. Like, you know, he wasn't giving it his, his game day effort, but that was a, a legit effort to keep me from passing. So how do you do that, Brent? You get on top with that framework in mind and you let him choose how he likes to be passed. Here are three ways to break the lockdown. See, I'm tipping my hip just a little bit. That's it, now I can walk in here and start to cut it. Here, and now this slip can flip underneath the whole thing. I'm going under his heels. Keep your lockdown. <laughs> And I go up and around with that foot. So I'm circling my knee out of this thing as I turn my body. So there's one, which is the one you just did. Here, touch your knee. There's two, which is he straightens that thing out and makes it impossible for me to do that knee cut. I can't do it. So I back off, I go the way he's pushing me. Yeah, no problem. So I can lift my leg easily and flip it out and circle it. Or I'm playing in here and I go pop and I turn it. Pop it. I'll get in on I'll get in this position. Even from half guard. I'll cover this elbow. And I grab the wrist like this right here. Just rotate it. You can rotate it this way. That's the best. Or you can rotate it this way. But then you have to adjust again to get the arm locked. Because you don't have your pushing, you don't have the pushing part of your hand behind it, so you got to kind of push like that, <laughs> right? But the best way is to get him right here and like open my elbow a little bit so I can over rotate this thing and I'll push it this way, which also gives me the wrist lock. Yeah, I felt it. Boom. And he, if he bends it back together, bring it back like a Kimura, like bring it back this way, then I'm ready. 
I still got it. You don't like this either. Yeah, I don't. That's it. 1v1, force, shooting competition, free throws. <laughs> yeah, but you're beating him at jiu-jitsu. You're still thing you care about. No, 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 man. That's not true, dude. Come on, man. I, I held a dynasty for years, man. It just crumbled. Last thing that I'm interested in is getting in a fight. But sometimes people don't give you a choice. Okay? That's what we're gonna talk about today. One step, two step, and on the third one I'm going in. I'm gonna grab her right around her waist and stick my head right there on her chest and stick my hip right on her hip. Number one is Mooch. Oh. Mooch. I love y'all so much. I love teaching your class. It's my favorite class to teach. <laughs> yeah! So, first of all, don't be in the middle of the circle, boy. Yeah, you're not the teacher. You want to ask the kid, man. Oh, yeah. He, he thinks just because he won, he thinks cause, just because he won three gold medals, he can do what he wants to, you know? He's like, you know, he's like, I'm the king around here. He's like, Brandon, you ever won three gold medals? <laughs> no, I hadn't won three gold medals in one day. And you won a Naga expert belt, too. Oh, you think you? Okay, I don't have a Naga expert belt either. Is that okay? Is that what you want to hear? Who's the great king? Keep bringing my mic. Did y'all hear? Three gold medals, man, one day. <laughs> Gavin. Killing adults. <laughs> This boy right here, look at this camera. Look, y'all, 15 years old, he won the adult heavyweight division. <laughs> <laughs> Rush! <laughs> Rush! What about you, Brian? How'd you like it? It was pretty good. <clears throat> Guess what? Stand up for a second. You know, you've only been taking uh, the adult class. You haven't been doing the kids' classes, so we haven't had you on our ranking system. But turn around here and check this out. We're going to start running you through our ranking system. So that's you're officially you're officially a tenth planet guy now. We accept you. You have been you've been brought into the wolves. <laughs> I thought it would be pretty cool if your daddy tied your first belt and so did you. <laughs> Give your daddy a big hug. He did awesome. <laughs> he did awesome. How many matches did you have? I think he got three out of six. He won three out of six. That's pretty good for your first tournament, man. You even won a match in the G, too, right? Got third place in G. <laughs> That's pretty good. How'd you do, darling? All subs and regulation, too. A little monster. All right, Armando, tell us about it, baby. I lasted two minutes and 47 seconds. Hey! First competition. <laughs> Listen. Look, Armando, if, 
if Armando at 109 years old can go and compete, <laughs> you can do it too. Look at him, look at him. He's almost dead. <laughs> and he went out there and he threw down. Oh, man. For real though. I'm Dude, so I'm strong. I'm so proud of you for jumping out there, man. That's not easy to do. Especially when your kids are already shining. That's hard, man. Yeah, they made me look real. <laughs> <laughs> Steven, first competition at Purple Belt. Yeah. It was awesome, y'all. I got three wins and three losses. I got a win in the overtime round, three submissions. I got put to sleep. Like everything happened. <laughs> it all happened. It was great. You guys get in there and compete. If you hadn't, if you're, not, if you're just thinking about it, it's a great learning opportunity. Even if you win or lose, whatever. Like you learn so much. And hey, we appreciate you leading from the front. Thank you. We appreciate that, man. for real. That means a lot. We like. I like to see the higher ranks. Compete. That's good. Y'all came through and you supported. You supported the tournament, which is great. Appreciate that. More importantly, you represented the school and yourselves. Black. Primo, cream of the crop. Y'all are awesome. Super proud of y'all.